Acquisition is a program you can use to set up a shop and path of exile, and I will leave a link in the description to this uh, URL right here. Uh, you need to download this exe file here, and you will have to save the file. And I have done this a few times, as you can see. Um, it takes some time to do, so let's just open this, install it. You have to click yes here, um, and then you click next, and you agree to everything, and this is where you will put the install if you want the desktop icon and then you install it. Uh, I believe I can since acquisition is actually running on my PC right now so let's close that. Do it again. So we install it again. No worries. Um, right and that is it. Then you can launch the application. This is what you will see when you first uh, launch acquisition and you will have to go to login and password, uh, punch in the email that you use for logging into Path of Exile and also your password. Then you select what leak you want to uh, download your stashes from and then you can put remember me if you want to. Uh, you can also, if you use Steam, you should use this right here, then you just log in. When you first enter the Path of Exile official website, then it looks something like this. And I want you to take a look at Forum and then click on Index. Here you will scroll down, find Trading, expand it, and then you will find the leak you are going to make a shop in. So if you're playing in Standard, then you should click on this right here. That says Shop, Standard Trading Shop. And if you're playing in Hardcore and you want to make a shop, you should click on Hardcore Trading Shops. If you're playing in a temporary leaks, uh, then you should either click on standard Pirandis leak shops or standard or not standard, but hardcore Pirandis leak shops. So I don't actually have a standard Pirandis leak shop, so I will make one. What you do is you click on, on, the, on the link and then you make a new thread. So here I will call the shop, whatever I want to. So this is going to be the title of my shop. So if people actually go to the website and look through all the shop threads, they're going to see this. Uh, so I'll just call it... Uh, sure, I'll just do this. I don't like that much caps. That's a bit too much. So let's do it like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you need to have some kind of content to actually submit this. So. And we don't need to put anything in here right now. So we're just going to make whatever characters you want to and then click Submit. Now you have your thread. And this thread, here you need to take these numbers right here. You can see these numbers here are unique to your thread. So what you do is you copy this. Uh, you can use Control c Then you go to Procurement and go to the Trading tab. And then you can see I'm under Trading Settings. Here where it says thread ID, you put in your numbers, you can also just type it, and then you also put in the title of your shop, so keep that in mind. This should be something that you can actually repeat. So now we just click save, and that should be saved. Here you need to click on this link here. This will lead you to a login screen apparently because it's using a different browser <clears throat> here you're just going to send a message to this person here this person is not a real person this is a, a robot that's just going to send you back an ID that will make it so your shop will appear uh, online for half an hour and linking that into procurement means that as long as procurement is open Procurement will, um, by itself, if you tell it to, it will make sure that your shop is open so people can actually search for it on PUE Trade and contact you and see you as online. It will make it so that it will bump it automatically. So every half hour, it will bump it up. So if something new to your thread happens or anything, if you change something in your shop, then it will do it automatically. Um, and so on. So if you put, if you have a stash tab, let's see, let's say um, uh, everything in this tab is two chaos, and you have put some items in there the past half hour, then it will update itself and put it onto the forum, and that way people can search for it. So you just 
measure sim anything here. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> the subject doesn't matter. So just do this, submit it. What you get back is a a link, and that link is personal. Don't give it to anyone because if somebody else has it, then they can abuse it. I don't know how you would actually abuse it, but your shop could appear open or online forever if they choose to actually do that. So this is what you'll see when you log into um, acquisition the first time. Uh, and down here you can see that it's throttling and sleeping for 60 seconds. This is because you cannot ask for too many requests to GGG servers um, quickly. And then you will have to go into the sleep modes and it does that automatically. And then you get the rest of your stashes after that. So the first time you log in, this can take quite some time, like one or two minutes. Uh, now, after, after one time, it's almost instantly. Um, so what you can do here is you can open all your stashes and you can see all the tabs here. Um, so let's like, let's open this one. I've already toyed around with this one. Um, so when you click on like ethereal knives here, then uh, you can see out here, you can see the icon, you can see what the thing you have selected does. You can see where it is in what stash tab and where in the tab it is. Um, if you want to set a buyout for like this item right here, then you just go down here, you click uh, buyout, fixed price, current offer, no price. You click one of them, then you choose your um, currency type you want. So let's see, we want, let's say we want some chromatics. We want uh, 12 chromatics. Now we want 121 chromatics, um, and you're done. Um, this will. Where where did it actually go? Why? What? I I did something I shouldn't have. But you just do this, and you can see here it changes instantly. So as soon as you put in the numbers, it will change. Uh, so let's say one. Now it's one. Now it's twelve. Uh, if you change the, the current type, and you just click away, you don't have to click enter or anything. So now it's it's uh, uh, six seven seconds since I changed it to twelve chromatics. And this keeps updating, so you can see when you last uh, edited the price of your item. Um, yeah. So what else you can do here is, let's say I only want to see um, items I have with two red sockets. These are all the items I have with two red sockets. So you can use this out here to search specific items. You can also search for a name up here. Um, you can also make as many tabs as you want to if you have different searches going. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I really like it. It's super fast and it, it does what you want it to do. Um, to set up your shop, you click up here to auto online. Here you put the link in you got from the robot after PMing uh, XY, the XYZ robot on the Path of Exile official problem. Put the URL you get. You put it in here and click OK. Then you go to shop and form shop thread. Here you put the number of your shop thread in. So let's say this is my number. And if I have another shop, let's say I both play standard and parandus. So this is my other shop. Click OK. And these are my two shops. Right. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. Um, it's very simple. I really enjoy using it. Uh, if you want the UI, of course, you can use procurement, but I, I think this is a much better program because it feels faster. It, it's just easier to overlook everything. So, but it's up to you. Um, so, yeah.